Hi everybody. So what I want to show you today is how to do the air brake test for the California Highway Patrol on what our officer here in Sonoma County typically is looking for. So I know the air brake test can be a little bit of a challenge, so I figured a video might help. So the way I remember to do my air brake test is the acronym SEESAW, which stands for C, cut in, cut out, S for the static test, A for the applied test, and W for the warning light and buzzer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the air governor cut in. I'm going to do a full application of my brake here, put my foot back on the floor, and wait for the air, see if the air governor cuts in. Legally, it has to cut in by 85. So I'm gonna sit and wait and see if the air governor cuts in. And I'm gonna give him the exact place where it actually does cut in. So it has not cut in yet. I'm gonna do another full application. I'm gonna sit and wait. My air governor has just cut in. I heard it cut in and it cut in at 100 pounds. So the second piece of the C is waiting for it to cut out. And legally it has to cut out by 130 pounds. So I'm gonna sit and let the air governor fill up and tell him where it actually cuts out. My bus takes forever to build up air. All right, so my gov air governor cut out at 120 pounds. So onto the S for static test. What I'm gonna do here is just turn off the bus. I'm not touching any of the brakes. And I'm gonna sit here and wait for one minute and the air governor cannot lose more than two pounds or the air tanks cannot lose more than two pounds in that one minute. So I'm gonna be attaching the gauges to make sure the gauges aren't stuck. And I look at my um, gauges here, and there's no way to determine where, where the difference between two pounds, three pounds, and all that. So if my needles move at all, I'm gonna say it failed the test and put the bus off the road. All right, we're gonna say that's one minute. So the next up is the A for applying. And I'm going through it here fast, you have to actually do the full minute with on your test at the highway patrol. So for the applied test, what I'm gonna do is I have to turn my key on to the on position. I'm gonna do one full application of my service brake. Gonna release my parking brake. I'm gonna wait for my air tanks to level off. Give them a tap again. And I'm gonna sit here and wait for one minute and my tanks cannot lose more than three pounds in one minute. Do, 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 do. So I'm gonna say that's one minute. My tanks did not lose any air. So what I'm gonna do now is my low air warning light and buzzer test. First things first, I'm gonna set my parking brake and put my foot on the floor because I have air drains here. Not all buses can do this, but I can release the air from my air tanks with the air drains here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna drop the air until my low air light and buzzer both activate and they have to activate by 60 pounds. And I'm going slow because I wanna have it stopped immediately when that light comes on so I can tell him where my light and buzzer actually come on. So there's my low air light and buzzer right here. And I look at my gauges and it activated at 70 pounds, which is legal, which is legal because it was prior to 60. So I'm gonna turn my bus back on. I'm gonna let the air tanks build up. I cannot move my bus until the air pressure is at least 100 pounds in the tanks. So a couple questions you will probably be asked is, the first one is what is your emergency stopping system in your bus? And the emergency stopping system in our bus is the service brake, which is your brake pedal. Because the way these buses are designed is that our natural reflex when we are driving is if something happens is to step on the brake. 
So they wanted our emergency stopping system to be something that was just as simple as stepping on the brake. And the other question he will ask is that, so if you're driving down the roadway and you're losing air rapidly out of both of your tanks, which brakes are going to activate on you? So if you're losing air out of all your tanks rapidly, your spring brake, spring brake is going to activate, which is your parking brake. Spring brake, parking brake. Your spring brakes will activate and stop that bus. So if you are driving down the roadway and you're losing both um, air tanks air rapidly, your spring brakes will activate and you will not be able to move that bus until you get air back into the tanks. So now my tanks are back up to 100 pounds. I can move the bus. I'm not gonna do that while I'm filming, but I'm gonna tell you that you'll need to do three stop tests. So the first test, you will do a regular stop test, just like you're stopping on the roadway um, for traffic or any regular stop. Then you're gonna stop again, but do a harder application at like you're stopping in a panic stop or an emergency stop, if you had to step on your brakes harder. Then your third stop is you're gonna roll forward and pull your parking brake and do a stop with your parking brake. All three of these tests, you're looking to make sure your brakes aren't pulling in either direction, that nothing feels wrong with your brakes, that they stop normally without pulling you off the roadway. So as soon as you uh, finish up your um, last of your three stops, you stop and you have ended your test if, that, if you've ended your test with your brake test. So that is our air brake test in a nutshell. I hope this helps and have a great day.